Hi everybody, Dr. Howe here. Uh, I want to show you how to add a Google Doc that you have created to a folder that's been shared with you. So for instance, if you're doing workshopping using Google Docs, um, a simple way to do this um, is to just upload your document to the folder that you've been given access to. But if you write in Google Docs, it might be really challenging to do that. It's a little bit more complicated. So, uh, so I'm gonna show you how to add your Google Doc to a folder that's been shared with you already. Okay, so in order for you to access this project for workshop space, you will need to be logged into your uh, Marymount email uh, account. I've shared that folder with your address, with your Marymount email address, okay? But for the purposes of this demo, uh, what I've done is I have shared this with my personal Gmail account, okay? Just so you can see what it will look like for you, okay? So, um, so I found this project for workshop space. It's in this shared with me folder. The other way you can do it is just by searching up here, project for workshop space. And as you start typing it, it should pop up right here, okay? Um, project for workshop space. Um, here are all the things that are project for. Here's my project for workshop space. You can see one student has already uploaded hers as a PDF, okay? Um, so I can find it easily if I go back to shared with me and here it is. It's right up here at the top. Now your Google Drive may look a little bit different from mine. So the way that you can toggle the different views is by clicking this little button up here that says grid view if you hover over it if you toggle this it will be the list it'll be the grid view okay if you hit it again it will go to list view i have mine set up to just always go to list view because i think it's more it's cleaner it shows me more information um but if you uh if you have your google drive set up to look like this okay um here's the project for workshop space okay I'm going to show you how to do this on list view, okay? So if you have it set up on grid view, I'd like you to go ahead and toggle it to list view, okay? Now, the simplest thing to do is actually to add this to your drive, all right? Or add a shortcut to your drive. So what I've done is I've right-clicked on the folder that's been shared with me, and I'm going to add a shortcut to drive, okay? Where do I want to put it? Uh, I want to put it in my drive, okay? Um, so I just highlight that and I click add shortcut and you'll notice here it is. Okay. Now you can see it over here in this navigation pane. Okay. So if you go into your drive, all right, um, and you have uh, a list like this, you've got your quick access things that you've most recently been, um, accessing and, uh, here's all the rest of the stuff organized by name or by last date of modification. Um, which is a useful way to, um, you know, organize things because you can, uh, you can organize it by date. Um, okay, so now you've got a shortcut here in your project for workshop space, okay? So let's say I want to add, um, let's see, a picture or whatever, um, a file to the shared folder. Okay, so I've just, um, I'm just gonna navigate to my document. Here it's a picture, okay? Uh, but it could easily be something else. Uh, so once you've found your document, all you do is you drag and drop it, right? I'm just gonna drag and drop it here into Project for Workshop Space. Change who has access? Oh, it will be visible to everybody who can see this. Um, and you say yes, all right? Um, so you say, okay, I want to add it there, all right? Um, and then a little note will come up here. It'll say Millie and Rennie 2 has been moved from Kitten Photos to Project 4 Workshop Space. Okay. Um, so that's, that's one way to do it. Um, and it doesn't matter that this is a JPEG. It can be anything else. Okay. Let's do, let's find a .doc. Um, let's say here are my draft house rules. Okay. Um, here's my document that I've been working on. Okay. Um, I want to find it. Okay, here it is. All right. Um, I'm going to add this. Uh, sorry, where is it? Move it to. Okay, I'm going to move this to um, my project for workshop space. Or I can just drag and drop. Okay. Um, this will put a shortcut there, um, I believe, because it's not my, um, it's not my, um, 
folder. Uh, my document, it's somebody else's document. It's owned by somebody else. Um, but let's say here's last house on the left, right? I can just drag and drop that um, just like that. Boop, and there it goes. Um, and I say, sure, I wanna move it, okay? And now you're gonna be working here on your um, project, okay? Um, so this will give us all access to it uh, so that we can easily workshop on Google, okay? Um, and here is my um, document. Okay, um, so now I can edit this and do whatever I want to do with it. I can um, I can do workshopping on it. Um, I can give it to somebody else to do workshopping on. And here's, uh, just because you've been so patient, um, here is a picture of Millie and Rennie when they were very, very little. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, oh look, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> add a comment to a picture. Um, all right, I'm going to make note of that. Uh, so have a great evening and let me know if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, uh, this should be pretty straightforward. Um, the, the thing that you that you need to know about though is adding a shortcut to that folder in your um, in your Google Drive. And that way you can easily drag and drop things if you have that shortcut there. Okay. Um, if you don't have the shortcut there, then you'll the easiest way to do it is to download your Google Doc, say as a Microsoft Word document, and then navigate to the shared folder, and then just upload it there as a new folder, uh, sorry, as a new document, okay? Um, so like I said, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you all on Tuesday, okay? Bye.